Hey everyone, this is Kevin. I wanted to share with you a tool that I learned about at the Google Teacher Academy this summer. It's called Google Moderator. Now, Google Moderator is a tool that was designed for, to be used by people who are giving presentations or seminars or lectures. And what it does is it enables the audience to back channel or ask questions online or make comments or suggest ideas and allows also allows audience members to vote on those questions and ideas, bringing the most popular ideas and questions to the top so that the presenter can address those questions and ideas. But what Google did at the uh, Google Teacher Academy is use Moderator as a means to get participants to suggest ideas for the next sessions. You know, what sort of topics were people interested in or they would propose ideas for mini sessions in the what they would call the unconference. So I was thinking about how teachers could use this tool in the classroom and I thought that this would be a really great opportunity for teachers who are interested in providing more differentiated instruction. That is, give students multiple different uh, ways that they can tackle any sort of given activity or lesson and let students choose or suggest ideas for a lesson based on what they understand meets their personal learning needs. So let me give an example of, of how Google Moderator could be used in the classroom. The first thing you want to do is just go to google.com slash moderator and you need to sign in with your Google account. So if you have Gmail or a Google Docs account, you can use that. If you don't, you can just create one for free and it will give you a link that here that says create series and so you just create a series for the moderator and you could give it a topic I'm going to show uh, how this could be used in a vocabulary lesson so you just type in a title and a description and you can allow other editors to edit the series itself or you can just be the sole editor and just leave that blank so I'm going to go show you one of my series that I created and this is a sample series of a vocabulary lesson with an objective showing the students that their objective is to be able to define and use the words in this week's vocabulary list. But how they get there, how they achieve that objective, I want to put into their hands. But how do you organize all those different ideas? Google Moderator allows that to happen. So what students will see is a page like this with other students' ideas and you'll see here that here's one, create 15 second audio or video projects with a creative take on the term. So if a student liked that idea, he could vote yes, or he could vote no, or he could skip it as not really part of something that uh, he or she is interested in, but there's all these other ideas, and then you can submit your own idea and let others vote on that, and the most popular will rise to the top. So you'll see that students who are involved in this can not only submit their ideas, but get inspiration from others who submit their, old, their own ideas. So students would see this on their own web-enabled device, if that's a laptop or a netbook or an iPod Touch. And then at the front of the classroom, you can show the presentation view, which is this, which shows all the ideas and the, vote, the voted ideas, and it brings the most popular ones to the top. So I can really see this as a way of putting students in control of their own learning and supporting each other and it allows teachers to help make that happen in a way that, that's a little more organized. So give it a try and let me know what you think about Google Moderator. There's many, many different ways. This is just one way you could use Moderator in the classroom, but there's a lot of others. And uh, So let me know what you think. Uh, give me an email at Brookhauser, B R O O K H O U S E R, at gmail.com. Thanks.